Hi all, Brad Wright from the Single Malt Whiskey Club here, and this month we have got two fantastic whiskies to chat about. Our malt of the month is the Scarabus Isla Single Malt Whiskey, and it's a brand new whiskey, and this is the first time it's been available in Australia. A treat for our sweet peat freaks. This one, yep, that's right, we are taking a trip to the Phenol Wonderland that is peated Isla whiskey. Only those who seek shall find is the motto on the label, but don't you worry about that because we have been seeking it for you and look, we found it. Now, we know that some of our members don't like peated whiskey and that's all right. We've thought of you too with an optional extra from the Indian whiskey giant Amrit, a non-peated, sweet and tropical fruit laden single cask whiskey of which only 110 120 bottles have been produced. Talk about both of these whiskies. First off, our malt of the month is the Scarabus Isla Single Malt Whiskey from third generation blenders and bottlers, Hunter Lang. This is a no age statement whiskey from an undisclosed Isla distillery. Hunter and Lang released the Scarabus as part of the Fayali in Isla in 2019. And for those who don't know, the Fayali is the Isla Food and Whiskey Festival held annually in May in Isla. Um, this is the first release of the Scarabus brand and Hunter and Lang intend to release other expressions under this Scarabus banner in the future. Sadly, it has taken a while for the Scarabus to make its way to our sunny shores, but I guess the wait is over and here it is. Now, there's very little I can tell you about the Scarabus other than it's an Isla single malt whiskey, bottled at 46% ABV. No age statement again, they don't disclose the distillery and they give no indication on how it was aged, which I guess is a bit sad for those who want to delve into what they are drinking in a bit more depth, but on the upside, I guess it also allows one to drink it with no preconceptions of what it should be. Well, besides smoky, that is. And at under 100 bucks a bottle, it's absolutely fantastic value. So here it is. The packaging has already divided our Facebook community. I personally don't think it looks too bad. Um, maybe my photos don't do it justice, uh, but some love it, some hate it, and that's okay. As one of our members pointed out, luckily we don't have to drink the label. Anyway, there it is. A very dark bottle, very Lagavulin-esque actually, um, with a white, black and gold, rather elaborately decorated label. Love it or hate it, there it is. And more importantly, obviously, than the label, the whiskey. The whiskey, as we can see, it's it's a nice light amber colour. I've seen darker, I've seen lighter, um, but it sits, you know, fairly mid-range for an Ilar whiskey. And on the nose, yep, <laughs> instantly there is no doubt as to this being a peated Ilar whiskey. Smoky, sweet, tarry, with that salty, savoury cured meats in the background. Oh, yum. And on the palate, mm, mm. on the palate, mm, yeah, an initial hit of really sweet stewed prunes and some caramel, and then a real savoury cured meat notes and mouth, mouth sort of coating spices follow that, and then of course there's that sweet smoke. And on the on the finish, mm, mm. soft and sweet at first and then a campfire smoke and a, and, and, and a long spicy fade with that campfire and spice sort of washing over each other mm, it's beautiful wow a very interesting progression here of sweet salt spice and smoke in that whiskey it's very interesting and, and very easy to chew through a few drams of this one i think mm, nice that is the scarabus Isla single malt whiskey now, for our members who really don't like peated whiskey, we have not forgotten you this month. This month's small batch extra, our optional extra, is a delightfully fruity Indian whiskey. A single cast expression from Amrit, whose whiskies we've offered as our malt of the month in years past. And this one is aged for five years in ex-bourbon casks and then finished for two years in first fill in, an, in a first fill Amrit rye whiskey cask. Uh, this cask was chosen personally by Ian McKinlay at Elba Whiskey, 
um, bottled at near cast strength of 60%. Um, this is a delightful whiskey that will stand up in the upcoming months. So there it is. Let's have a taste, eh? All right, well, as you can see, it is a very pleasing sort of deep copper color. Very nice. And the nose, wow. Um, it's very sweet and complex. There's tropical fruit, such as like pineapple, papaya, lychee. Mm, there's, um, there's a chocolatey note there and also a very exotic sort of spicy note. I can't quite pick it. Um, it's very different, but very nice too. On the palate. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Really intense, sweet and spicy burst at the start. Coats the mouth beautifully and then, then it takes on really rather dry character. And the finish brings waves, waves of mm, sweet floral notes and fruit notes and they wash over each other in a delightfully long finish. It's dry, but very Moorish. Wow. Well, that's it for this month. The Scarabus Isla Single Malt Whiskey is our malt of the month. For those who don't like it quite so smoky, peaty, the Amrit Single Cask Rye Cask Finish. Only 120 bottles. These ones will go really quick. Be quick. Brad Wright, Single Malt Whiskey Club. Until next month, Slanjavar. Mmm.